Portland cement is one of the important building materials. Chemically, cement is a mixture of silicates of calcium, magnesium, aluminium and iron with small quantity of oxides of metals. The average composition is calcium oxide 63.8 percent, silica 20.7 percent, alumina 5.6 percent, iron oxide 2.5 percent, magnesium oxide 3.7 percent, titanium oxide 0.23 percent, sodium oxide 0.21 percent, potassium oxide 0.51 percent. Calcium oxide is the principal constituent of cement. Excess lime and lesser amount of cement lime in cement than needed reduces the strength of cement and results in quick setting. The experiment may be used to test the quality of cement sample. This experiment is also a complex symmetric titration and the complexing agent is disodium salt of EDTA. Here the use of aerochrome black tea as indicator gives the total concentration of calcium and magnesium ions. Well, pattern and readers indicator would allow the estimation of only calcium ions in presence of magnesium ions. For this purpose, the pH of the solution has to be maintained between 12 and 14. Here, the addition of diethylamine served the purpose. Glycerol avoids the adsorption of indicator onto the precipitate and helps in giving sharp endpoint. Addition of 4 normal sodium hydroxide avoids the interference of magnesium ions. Now, the conduction of the experiment. In the burette, I have filled with standard EDTA solution. The sample solution has been pipetted out. It is about 25 cm cube. Now, the required reagents, glycerol, diethylamine, sodium hydroxide as well as the indicator are added in sequence. Firstly, glycerol, 3 ml of glycerol is added. Now shake the contents. Next, diethylamine is added to maintain the pH of the solution. The contents are shaken. Now finally, 4 normal 10 cm cube of sodium hydroxide is added. This avoids the interference of magnesium ions. Now the contents are mixed. Finally, the indicator, pattern and readers indicator is added and a small quantity of that will be used. Due to the formation of the complex between the metal ion and the indicator, the solution turns wine red. The initial burette reading is 0. Now the titration is carried out. By adding the titrant slowly. Disodium salt of EDTA forms the complex with free calcium ions. At the end point, the wine dried 
changes to blue. This is the end point of the titration. The final buret reading is 16. Similarly, two more titrations are conducted for the con concordance. The readings are tabulated. Now, the reactions involved in the experiment. The indicator forms the complex with calcium ions in cement forming the metal ion indicator complex which is wine red. The free calcium ions next forms the complex with EDTA forming the complex and H plus ions are released. This brings down the pH of the solution and the pH is maintained by diethyl amine. Calcium indicator complex is finally dissociated by EDTA near the end point and indicator is released free. The solution turns blue due to the free indicator. Now the calculations and observations. Observation and calculation for the preparation of EDTA solution. The weight of sample transferred is 1.521 grams. Molarity of EDTA solution calculated is 0 0.016337 molar. The results tabulated are as shown. The volume of EDTA used is 16 cm cube and the calculations are as shown. The percentage of calcium oxide in the given sample is 52.69%. The viva questions are like this.